Hi guys, this is Noiser with some amazing footage from the Rainbow Six Siege 6 Invitational stream just moments ago, where they talked about the new operators for the Velvet Chill DLC, and this is Jacko the Attacker. They talked a bit about his gadget, the visor, that I will talk a bit more about in a second, and more interesting, perhaps his loadout. This guy has got a quite, quite a large amount of weapons that he can choose from and most interesting perhaps is the shorter version of a shotgun that he can use as a secondary. This shotgun doesn't have the same stopping power as an ordinary shotgun, it has a larger spread and perhaps is more of a gadget but it still can kill people for sure. His gadget then is a visor that he can turn on to see footsteps. On this gameplay footage we didn't actually see any footsteps but, but we will see some more about that apparently in the gameplay reveal uh, tomorrow, so we will have to wait a bit more for that. Uh, this gameplay footage was kind of cool to see as well, because this is uh, at least the first gameplay footage I've seen, I guess it's the first they have shown also. For some reason the audio didn't record here, so that's why I'm also trying to narrate a bit and tell you a bit about what they were talking about around these operators. So they didn't re reveal everything. They left out some, some details that will be revealed further on. Uh, everything, of course, will be known tomorrow when they show the gameplay as well. But they talked a bit about what they think about him and what he will add to the game. And Macy J, sitting in the studio there to the right, think that uh, this, this guy could really bring some, something extra to the game and that he will be a force to reckon with. So that sounds pretty cool. Next, they talked a bit about Mira. Mira, we know a bit more about. She's been known ever since the buff to the Tachanka shield, where they sort of leaked her name and uh, an illustrated image of her, and uh, the speculations has been going on since then, I guess. And also after the reveal trailer, we could see that his, her gadget was some sort of... Um, shield or something she could put in reinforced walls there was some sort of speculation around that as well but now we know it's a one-way mirror that she can put in reinforced walls but they didn't say everything about this this will make it much easier to for example bandit trick and know that someone's going to toss a, a grenade through a through a drone hole or something like that so it will be a very powerful gadget for the defenders and that will change the meta definitely uh, but there are some more issues to this uh, to this gadget as well that they didn't talk so much about that will perhaps be a bit of a nerf for for Mira uh, and for the defensive side so that she won't be so so OP with this with this gadget. Her loadout as well has something interesting and that is that extreme high rate of fire PDW or whatever that is. Uh, the thing is, uh, I'm so sad I couldn't record the audio because the sound of this thing is pretty amazing. It looks extremely cool and it sounds extremely cool. So I just uh, I just can't wait to, to try out these weapons because they look amazing. We have that shorter version of the shotgun there as well as a secondary. Uh, so she's got that one as well. Here we got that extreme high rate of fire PDW. Uh, and the recall didn't seem all that much, not in that footage anyway. So that might be someone with a great recall control, what do I know? And that we have C4 on that one as well, uh, a bit of a known issue for defenders. Uh, they seem to come with C4 every time now, so we'll see what happens with that C4 as well, perhaps. That will be taken out in the future, who knows. Uh, as Macy J is saying here, Mira will definitely change the meta, uh, probably much more than the attacker Jackal. But what that means and what uh, what that will bring to the game, we will just have to see when we know everything about her and everything about her gadget and how it will work, how it can be countered and how it can be used and so forth. So, guys, that was actually all I had to to share with you now. Just wanted to post this video to get it out as soon as possible for you who didn't have the chance to see the stream. So there you have it. I will be back tomorrow again, of course, and until then, I will keep being noiser. Hey, Dolph.